uh, to be here today. In fact, Jason and I were talking uh, prior to the flight today and uh, just, just milling around just before we got on board the aircraft. And I was reflecting back about how long I'd been coming to the Whit Sundays. And, and I have to say, you know, it, it makes you feel very old when you admit that I've been coming here for decades. Uh, and, and it's just a place I really love, and I'm a huge ambassador. Uh, for this region of Australia. I think Australians are so lucky to have the Whit Sundays in their backyard. And, it, and it's a destination that I'm always out there espousing the virtues of to anybody who will listen, both in Australia and, uh, and offshore, of course. Uh, and so much so, you know, I, I'm sort of thinking back and thinking, gee, I've, I've been to here at various stages throughout my life. I, I, you know, I come up here as a single, I came here with a young family, you know, doing the family resort holidays, and I've been here as an empty nester, you know, many times since. And I think that's one of the great attractions of the region, actually. It just has so much to offer for anybody in various stages of life and whatever you're seeking to do. You know, there's just so much to do in, in the area. Uh, and so, so without sounding like a promotional advert for the, for the region, I, I just want to share a little story, though, because um, uh, I, I believe in this area so much that when my mother-in-law recently visited from the UK, I thought, you know, where are we going to take her in Australia just to show her just what this country really has to offer. And I thought of the Whitsundays and we came up to the Whitsundays. And it was, a, it was one of these moments where you just have these wonderful firsts. You know, for her, it was her first time snorkelling on the reef. Can you imagine what that experience was like for her? For me, it was the first time I've ever heard somebody talk underwater, which is amazing. <laughs> so it's a little mother-in-law thing, but... Uh, <laughs> I can do that. But plenty, <laughs> plenty of firsts in, in this area and just such a wonderful place to, to experience them. Um, we at Qantas are always really keen to expand our network and to offer new destinations to our customers. That's really what it's, what it's ultimately all about. And, and for me personally, I've secretly believed that while our offering uh, to this region with our Jetstar brand and our Qantas Link services here are terrific, there really was a, a growing opportunity, I thought, to see the main Qantas brand come back into the market. And, and it was really interesting, uh, Mark and I were reflecting before, um, late last year, there was just one of those wonderful alignment of the stars moments where the one and only team had come to talk to us about their great plans for the resort uh, at Hayman. And we were talking ourselves within the business about, gee, you know, the Whit Sundays, there's, there's, there's a growing uh, premium market opportunity coming here. We really should be going back in with the main brand. We thought, you know, this might be just the right moment to, to, to be pushed down that path to actually relaunch the services. And so after the 10 year hiatus, you know, it's wonderful now to be here today to actually see that all come together. So it's something I'm very, very pleased about. I know the whole team of Qantas are uh, absolutely proud. I thought our crew today did a fantastic job, uh, wonderful characters on board, and just uh, showed you that special Qantas service that we, we can actually deliver. Thinking about Queensland more broadly, um, it's a special place for Qantas, of course, because uh, Queensland is our birthplace, for those of you who are not aware of that. Uh, Qantas, uh, 94 years of history started in, in outback Queensland. And so, you know, any, doing anything new in Queensland is always very special. It's always you know, very close to our heart to, to be able to give something back to, a, to an area that's given so much uh, to us as, a, as an organisation. As I said before, you know, it's great to be part of a business that is expanding its offering uh, in terms of its network. We're investing in new aircraft with the sorts of hook that you saw today. A wonderful plane, fantastic facilities, uh, amazing flight entertainment for, for people to, uh, to, to while away the flight time. It's just terrific. But we've been investing in a whole lot of other things like lounges and uh, our frequent flyer schemes and that. Um, and of course, the service training we do in our business. And, and I'm you know, very, very proud of Donors Punch to, to be able to say that you know, Qantas has consistently seen its customer service rankings climb and climb. And I think it's just so important for an organisation like ours, particularly when you're going through what is a fairly tough patch in aviation at the moment. It's a very tough industry to be in. To do nice things like this and to keep expanding and taking our business forward for our customers uh, is wonderful. It gives us all a, a great lift. Uh, to this market now, we're going to be operating our 737s three times a week during the um, peak seasons and twice a week in the, in the off peaks. Um, I, and I think with the backing of our international network and our extensive domestic network, our regional operations and the like, uh, added to our fantastic frequent flyer program, I, 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 I wouldn't hesitate to ask for a show of hands of who's a member of frequent flyer in this room. But, God, with over 10 million members, it's just so powerful. The marketing oomph that we can, we can help bring to the region is, is terrific. Uh, and of course, you've got the Qantas family, the likes of me, who just want to see this place work and want to see this operation work for us. Uh, I think you add that all together, and, and we really should uh, should enjoy some wonderful success here. And we're hopeful of bringing something like 10,000 more visitors to this region every year, which is not insignificant in terms of contribution to, uh, to, to leisure and, and to tourism. So uh, again, look, thank 
thank you all for being here today to be part of this wonderful journey for us. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a nice little milestone, it really is, and I can't begin to tell you how, how good it feels. Um, again, my thanks to Jason Costigan and to Glenn Burke for their very warm welcome. Thank you, guys. It's, uh, it is good to be back. And now it's my deep pleasure uh, to introduce Mark Gutichinas. Mark and I, as I said before, had conversations almost late last year, I think, we'll, we'll, we'll pin it down to that time frame. And uh, Mark, as president and COO of the uh, one and only resort chain, I think is one of the key reasons why we're back in this territory. So uh, I, I know he and his team are just going to wow your socks off and give you more great reasons to come back to the Wit Sundays. But it is great to be back here. And Mark, I'll pass to you. Thank you very much.